The proposed Maharlika Investment Fund of the Philippines, under House Bill No. 6398, is a long-term investment vehicle that aims to contribute to nation-building and generate consistent and stable investment returns to grow government savings. It is a national investment fund to establish a portfolio of investments in local and global financial markets. This is the version of the Philippines, to the sovereign wealth funds of many other countries' government-owned investment funds across the globe, including those in the Southeast Asian region. Though most sovereign wealth funds are constituted of surplus reserves from state-owned enterprises, reserves from budgeting excesses, foreign currency operations, and money from privatizations that are invested in various financial assets. The Philippines' multi-billion pesos proposed Maharlika Investment Fund will be sourced from the various assets of the country's government-owned and controlled corporations and agencies. Initially, it will get seed money from the Government Service Insurance System, the Social Security System, the Land Bank of the Philippines, the Development Bank of the Philippines, and the national government. Though due to the polarizing issue about its funding, the Maharlika investment would no longer source funds from the Government Service Insurance and the Social Security System. Future annual infusions are planned from the National Budget, Central Bank of the Philippines, and Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation. The Maharlika Investment Corporation will be created to manage the sovereign fund. It is composed of 15-man board, chaired by the president himself, or anyone appointed by the president. Vice chaired by any representative from an institution with the highest investment. 11 regular board members from the shareholders, and two independent directors from private sectors. The stated vision of the Maharlika Investment Fund, is to use profits garnered from investments to finance government projects, and to help minimize poverty incidents. The purpose of this is to generate consistent and stable investment returns, with appropriate risk limits. To preserve and enhance the long-term value of the fund. Obtain the best absolute return and achievable financial gains on its investments, and satisfy the requirements of liquidity, safety and security, and yield in order to ensure profitability. The fund can invest its money, in just about any domestic, or global financial asset. As well as joint ventures, or co-investments and commercial real estate and infrastructure projects. The highly polarizing investment fund, faces skeptical criticism, both from other government officials and private institutions and individuals. The multi-billion corruption scheme tied up with one Malaysia development Burhad scandal, which implicated former Prime Minister Najib Razak, has also been cited by critics as a cautionary tale for Maharlika Investment Fund, which will be chaired by the President. But officials sought to draw the line. In principle, the Maharlika Investment Fund is a valid concept. However, like any investment, it has an inherent risk. For all the benefits, a sovereign wealth fund is not a guaranteed cash-generating machines. Like South Korea's sovereign fund, the Korea Investment Corporation with $117 billion worth of global assets, posted a $28.4 billion loss in the first eight months of 2022. On the other hand, the Investment Corporation of Dubai ICD, posted the best ever revenues and net profit in the first half of 2022 by investing in Emirates National Oil Company, which contributed 26% of total revenue. Meanwhile, the World Bank is ready to share its best practices and designs for a sovereign wealth fund, if the Philippine government seeks advice on establishing one. The World Bank has a lot of expertise in sovereign wealth funds, both of the kinds that have a big meta-resource base that can be used to invest but also sovereign investment funds that basically try to track all investments in the Philippines, to channel investments into the country. The World Bank's lead economist in Manila said they have yet to see the nuts and bolts of the proposed legislation, but added that the organization has the arsenal of knowledge in that investment space. 
Some senators recently warned that there is still a need to further study and answer questions regarding the proposed Maharlika Wealth Fund. The measure was also met with protests from groups who voiced concerns that the fund will put the people's money at risk. With taxpayers' money to be exposed to financial risks, the House Ways and Means Committee chairman earlier proposed additional safeguards to be in place in the creation of the proposed Philippine Sovereign Wealth Fund. Backers of the bill in the House of Representatives are pushing for its approval later this month. But the legislation is expected to face greater scrutiny in the Senate, the upper house of Congress. Questions have also been raised about the timing of the fund's creation amid growing fears of a global economic downturn. In the current version of the Maharlika Investment Fund, the President of the Philippines chairs its governing board. This is a powerful statement that the highest official of the land will hold himself ultimately accountable to the Filipino people for the performance of the fund. House Bill No. 6398 defines Maharlika Investment Fund as an independent fund that adheres to the principles of good governance, transparency, and accountability. The proposed measure states that the fund shall be used to invest on a strategic and commercial basis in a manner designed to promote fiscal stability for economic development and strengthen the top performing government financial institutions through additional investment platforms that will help attain the national government's priority plans. Having a sovereign fund is always good versus having none. If created well, it can be an easier channel for foreign investors to go into the country. It would also allow the country to participate in other growth sectors abroad. However, such a fund is not risk-free, it is essentially required to have a good fund manager. It could also fail if transparency, controls, check and balances, are not well established. The success of any sovereign wealth fund, like the Maharlika Investment Fund simply comes down to the success of its investments, the way the funding is obtained, and how the money is handled. Is Maharlika Investment Fund a good idea? Only time will tell, as like with any other investment scheme.